but he watches over his word to perform it he says that those who trust him alone like mount zion the issues come the troubles come but one thing i have realized about a mountain is it, it never moves the rain falls it on it the fire burns up on it but the mountain still remains there to do this to advance the kingdom of god there's a projected church i'm going to be able to say well when they say they need this i'm in a position to just swipe or then, what do they call it then, iwa <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yo i don't know what happened to that savings account doing what you can mm. then leaving the rest to god amen god will prepare that meal that you think ah this one ah this one is gonna be it's not gonna be eatable but he makes sure yeah I, I, speaking of meals <laughs> now sometimes Right, uh, this is Ribwani. I'm your teacher. As you know, I'm from 10 times better generation school ministries. Hey, which one is this one? Another one, an exciting one. One power packed, filled with the word. You've been calling it and we have listened. We've got a special guest for you today. Uh, as usual, we are at iDesigner Studios. And guess who you're about to meet? <laughs> The very own <laughs> Mr. I designer himself. Yeah. In studio. In in flesh. In the flesh. Yes. <laughs> they kept on saying, is this a uh, are you are you are you are you practicing ghost? I'm like, uh uh <laughs> A special edition. This is dedicated to our five hundred subscribers uh, on YouTube. Yes. We just here to appreciate you and uh, uh, the man behind the camera, uh, our director, Mr. <laughs> I designer himself. Yeah. Uh, hi everyone, uh, good evening, good morning, everywhere you are around the world, yes, Mr. I Designer, like he always says, we are at iDesigner Studios, yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so yes, uh, we're gonna have a lovely night, we're gonna, we're gonna have a lovely day, we're gonna, wherever you are in the country, in the world, yes, wherever it's, whatever, whether it's day or night, yes, but yeah, we're just going to share the good news yeah. of the Lord, and yes this one is for the world and uh, as you know as usual we've got uh, our sermons lined up if you think that the, the media team doesn't know the bible hey you came to the right place stick around uh, that way you can also encourage your media team somewhere if they need to be taught the bible you must come to i designer studios and uh, as usual we're going to start off with a word of prayer we are going to speak about an exciting um, theme as inspired by the pastor. He's been talking about stepping into your destiny. Who's this pastor? This is Pastor Senior Pastor Buderi. Uh, he has afforded us the grace to sit down, unpack the word, and share this fragrance of grace with everybody. And without wasting time, we'll start with a word of prayer. Get your Bibles. We do affirmation and straight into it. I've got a story for you. Just after prayer. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for you and your word, you are one. You have no shadow of turning. Lord, you watch over your word to perform it. We are thankful for having been afforded this opportunity, this grace, Father, to share your word with your children across the globe. Thank you, Father, for increasing us more and more. The numbers, they continue to level up. And this is because, Father, we are obedient and we listen. We pray that, Father, while we are seated here, partaking of your word, sharing of your word, let there be revelation knowledge for everybody listening. Let them have hope. Let them have, Father, a renewed strength. Because we know that, yes, indeed, Lord, you've got something in store for them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I told you. I designer has stories for us. He's got the word for us. And as you know, we start off with the word. We are here to share nothing but the word of the living God. We've got um, a few scriptures. We've got Zechariah chapter 4 verses 10. And we'll be explaining this together. We've got Jeremiah 29 verses 11. A common one for everybody. 
Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22 uh, second Peter chapter 3 uh, verses 8 second and then Psalm 125 verses 1 and lastly second Peter chapter 3 verses 8 so we're going to walk you through this once we're going to be dialoguing alongside embracing the journey where we started how the walk was and um, yeah Oh, did I tell you guys it's my birthday today? Yes, it's uh, it's also my spiritual birthday, guys. Happy birthday. I uh, know, I thank you, I thank you. I remember it was 2008. Yeah. Um, we were doing it blindly at home. It's, it's, it's that thing whereby when you grow up at home, you are born in a Christian family. Everybody goes to church, but it doesn't click. It's that matter of doing it religiously or traditionally. True, true. But in 2008... I made a conscious decision. I'm like, Lord, yes, I've been doing it all this time, but uh-uh, man. I want to make things official with you. So we made things official with the Lord um, in 2008 uh, on the 19th of March. And I'm 16 years with the Lord officially. 16 years. So let's keep at it. 16 years. <laughs> and some, some people think it's not possible, but yes, 16 years. And you and know, funny Lord. enough, I used to be looking at the older people i'm like hey how did these guys do it 16 years yeah hey, but today no today you're 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 having a birthday so yeah <laughs> you're, you're being reborn again no i thank you <laughs> so guys i'll be expecting birthday messages on the comments <laughs> and you never know uh, if they are flooding and they keep on flooding i know i i i love to give we love to give exactly, collectively exactly. so watch out what we might do so Wish us a happy birthday and uh, thank you once again for working the journey with us um, to say, hey, we are growing with the team, 500 subscribers plus one already, so we're already on 501. Yeah. Uh, we've been calling it for some time, but the Lord has delivered. And how does the Lord deliver? I think that's now we, we link up with scripture. In Zechariah chapter 4, verses 10, it reads that, do not despise small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb in, uh, to see the plumb line in uh, Zerubbabel's hand. I remember I came to studio one time uh, when I came here. I was here to collect a light, mind you, and uh, I'm like, he's like, huh, this is eye design. Like, why, why, why do you need the light? I'm like, no, man. I record these things on YouTube. I, I, I sit at my own corner at home and then I, I do the thing. He's like, hmm, no man. Yeah, show me. G- g- give me a link. Let me have a look. And um, the rest is history. He can he can give us context. And <laughs> funny enough, just when I got here, he's like, hmm, you, you know, when you tell somebody something and it's like they were just waiting to hear. And uh, high designer is like, no man. Um, I get that you're here for the light, but I, I intend to offer something to the Lord. And before I met I design, I was in my own corner thinking, you know what, I'm a small scale man just doing uh, this teaching for the people I know, only the people I know will benefit. Yeah. He came with a global vision. He's like, no man, <laughs> this is for the world. And we are here today uh, celebrating that whereby we never look down on what was seemingly small we never look down because um we thought there wasn't much um he's gonna tell you what he saw but for me um i think i was contained in the thing of saying like i said this is for me this is for the world this is for my family this is for the people i know we were being greedy with the word this is myself now and all it took was repentance um I remember when the pastor asked, uh, he's like, well, why don't you join us at 10 times and teach? I'm like, I'm comfortable teaching at church, whereby it's just the people I know, it's the people I'm comfortable with. But then I realized that, uh, as the Bible does say, never undermine days of small beginnings. You might be starting small, you might be doing something that looks like it's not so important, it might look like it's insignificant, but if you don't undermine those days of small beginnings you literally go far in life god actually walks with you and he takes you through the journey yeah true 
you know <laughs> the time when you 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 came by and you said to me uh i need a light you know there's this thing that i'm doing and all that yeah. for me it was not i think it it clicked quickly okay mm. this is what happens i believe that when you are of one spirit yeah it's easy to understand that there's a mission Amen. that god wants to 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 really really execute and he wants it to be done mm. and the only people that can do it are the children of god amen and and if you are doing something that god wants you to do but you don't have resources he's always going to meet you at your point of need he will so what what happens is when we pray we we always say uh can 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 god give us our destiny help us mm. uh, you don't know who you're going to meet as your destiny you helper you really don't and for you to meet a destiny helper it doesn't mean that you're going to meet somebody who's going to say hey uh, i want to make money out of this or what yeah uh, a destiny helper is somebody that god has already spoken to exactly. before you could speak to them exactly so he will just send you to say go to this person yeah and when you get to this person the mission is going to be executed and what i want you to do you're going to do it whether you have resources or you don't have but whatever will. that i've already destined or whatever that i've already put in that person it shall come you us. guys are going to execute it and it shall work so yeah when you came and we spoke about the light and everything i honestly speaking i never slept after that day <laughs> for me it was more of god what is it that you want us to do yes. i owned this thing before everything else yeah. so for me it was more about the souls yes for me it's more about the children of god Amen. for me it's more about where 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 are the children of god going mm. for me it's about that one person who no longer has hope yes you know for 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 me it was all those things that god is saying what would jesus do exactly if it was me exactly. what would jesus do so yeah it it ended up being that and honestly speaking i'm grateful to see that uh, the things of god you don't have to do with your own might Mm-mm. the moment you start doing with your own might ah, we fail that's when we fail yeah uh, for us to reach five, 500 subscribers for us it was okay i i'm not even paying attention i meant to say funny enough we were not even <laughs> looking at the numbers you, you, you understand it, it, it was that thing of saying guys it will come how it will come i god knows exactly my point so it for us it's not about the numbers mm. that are subscribing mm. or about the numbers that are saying hey we see you guys hey mm. there's no mm. for us it's more about who's getting help even exactly. if even if they get help without us knowing that they got help for I, i i think for us it has become that uh achievement to exactly. say god has has won the victory and adding to what he's saying guys if we shoot an episode and one person watches and one person repents and one person gets help that is enough for us that's all we need and um like you were saying it says here if it's this is the scripture it says for the lord rejoices to see the work begin all we had to do was start the lord rejoices seeing you at home begin um i think business people always take uh context from the bible and they come motivate people and say All you need to do is start. The word says for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin. And I think it comes to procrastination exactly. Many times we sit and say I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. I want to do X Y Z and and and, and. but they never get to start. But let this be a reminder like you were saying. It starts by a small step. It starts by something insignificant. It starts by you just to be dear being obedient and listening to God I came here for a light and it was not just a light but when I was here for a light like he's saying God aligns his destiny help us and I'm glad that um, he uses his children and I was here for a light I left him sleepless today we are here and we just continue to get better and better and better and better so what we have for you out there today is wherever you are just start don't stop but start i design you wrap this one up yes. and then we'll uh, move to uh, the next one uh, and you remember uh, before before anything happens uh before god can bless you or before god can do anything with with your life yeah you have to be somewhere exactly uh, and if you are not 
in a space wherein God can do something with your life, mm. then there's nothing that is going to happen. Yeah. So if you're not doing anything, God is not going to do anything. Exactly. So you need to start doing something in order for him to execute whatever that you're doing. Exactly. So if I'm dreaming, continue to dream, but then put that dream in action. In action. The moment you start to do something, God will always maneuver the way. Exactly. Like there's always there's. Let me give you an example. Let's say you 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 were prosca- uh, procrastinating about buying a car, mm. and then you just decide to buy a car. I love. Have you example. ever find yourself stuck saying that I don't have petrol? No, you don't. Hey. The thing is. All the time when you start to do something, God will always come up and say, "Okay, fine, you have moved a milestone. Exactly. Let me increase in in, in whatever way. Yes. If if you buy a car, somehow somehow you get a promotion. Exactly. You you won't even understand how it he came about. He makes the resources available. You understand what I'm saying? So if you start somewhere, yeah, something will eventually come up, and and that's why when you look at the episode where we started together and you look at the episode today they are not the same worlds apart you understand and 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 and, and literally as um, the program suggests 10 times better ten and, times uh, and uh, i think we yeah it's it's ten. better man I, I mean i mean you cannot be you cannot be executing the word that talks about 10 times better and you're not being better yourself are you are you are you are you suggesting that the more we keep on saying here, ten times better, ten times better, we continue to elevate even I, though it's subconscious. That's what I mean. Hey. The, 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 the good thing about it is that we, we don't even see it when we're becoming better. It happens. It just happens. That's why I'm saying that it when it's with God, it's easy. So let me close it by saying that if you don't start doing something, yeah, God doesn't have anything to work with. Exactly. So you need to start so that God can work. Exactly. Yes. Amen. Who said uh, the media team doesn't speak? You never know. One day we'll be speaking with the makeup team at the back, but uh, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. keep it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, no, truly thankful for affording or offering yourself to say you know what um i know the vision is from god um i will give what i give how god does it i don't know and um yeah we we experienced a lot of difficulties i think the people know and when when i think we kept on saying some other times we've got technical difficulties hopefully we're able to get to it today otherwise we'll we'll continue next week but yeah yeah Um, I think we well, let's let's open now Jeremiah twenty nine verses eleven. I think uh, we can recite it easier. It says, "For I know the thoughts I think toward you," uh, says the Lord, "thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you hope and a future." And many times we are in a position whereby the Word of God encourages us to say, "Seek first my kingdom, my righteousness, my way of doing and being right." We keep on emphasizing on this one. And I'm left to believe, and as revealed, is that while we prioritize the things of God, the things that we want automatically are sorted. In the sense that God, like we keep on saying, He's the guarantor of His word. He watches over His word to perform it. He knows that which He wants and has planned and purposed for your life. So, if ever there is plans and anything to do with your life, be rest assured that God of the beginning, before he created the heavens and the earth, he knew about you, he thought about you, and he knew that you would exist and be here today. So, for we know the Lord has plans for you, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. When we started, for me, it was a medium of getting the message across. It was just sharing a voice clip to say, hey, I've recorded, why do they want to see me? Why should they see me? Mm-hmm. And I think it was the vision narrow-minded. And when we engage with people, I remember one of my colleagues at the time, she came, she's like, you, I'm going to buy you a ring light, I'm going to buy you a stand and you are going to be teaching now we want to see your face i'm like hmm for real i'm like i know no, 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 no. then eventually i was convinced i started in the corner and then there i was there i was 
And this is now coming back to say the plans that the Lord has for us. Who knew would be sitting here today True. shooting in 4K? True. <laughs> okay. True. Guys, we shoot in 4K here. <laughs> Highest quality. Yeah. <laughs> and this is because I designer was saying, you know what, let's not compromise on quality. As much as we are giving a word that is of quality, let us give quality insofar as the product is concerned. True. And he can tell the story as to what quality is all about when we are serving in the kingdom of God. We did not know the plans of God word for word, but we knew, we trusted, we believed that he indeed has plans for us to prosper us and not harm us, but to give us hope and a future. Yeah, yeah. true. Um, you, you know, when it comes to, to, to the issues of quality, mm. uh, first and foremost, you need to look at your God. Yeah. God deserves the best Amen. all the time. Amen. There's a song that we speak about that says, You deserve you the best. Deserve the best. <laughs> yeah, that's the song. You deserve <laughs> yeah. the best. So, when we're saying that God deserves the best, He deserves the best in every way. Amen. Uh, we, we, we're talking about the quality to say, Okay, fine, this is the quality that we need to give to the people. But all in all, is that when, when there's quality to something that God is giving to you, yeah it's very hard for you to resist and say i don't need this thing Amen. and the other thing is that if those who are in the world can do it mm. better mm. what about the people that are Amen. in the kingdom Amen. because now we need to represent the same god that people don't believe that there is a god yeah. in a way that they will understand that mm. indeed there's a god so whatever we have to give to god it has to be of that Amen. nature it has to be of that quality i like your emphasis on the best in as far as that while we praise God let's give him the best while we worship let's give him the best while we serve let's give him the best because it's unfortunate like you say people that are carnal in mind they limit God to you know just enough to get by they exactly. constrain God to like I no man this is not this is for music videos this is for what not and what not but you came here you're like uh uh god he deserves the best we give him the best we elevate we get better and better and better and 10 times better and i i think i think the challenge becomes when a lot of people think that okay fine we just need to give god whatever just the bare minimum can, you know whatever i can is fine let, let, i mean i've given hmm. but I want you to take it in this manner of saying that if I'm to give to God, let, let it be that I give what really, really cost me something. Yeah. Because you don't have to give something to God that you know, okay, fine, I'm just giving. Like, for example, there's a scripture that talks about the fathers being evil. I remember that. But one. they still give their children. So if, if the fathers being that way, but they could still give their best, what more about your god so if god is giving you the best mm. remember uh, if if you want to see that god deserves the best mm. look at when god has to do something for you yeah you cry at that moment it's the best for you yes. for you yes. it's not the best for him for him he he, he he might sit and say but i don't see the and, need to give it to you and if you look at it <laughs> there is more of a pool relationship you, you we like to receive but we don't like to and, give and, and whatever you want to receive from god you just you don't like it's not that thing of saying let me just receive whatever you have got no it's i want it the way i've I, described yes, it yes yes it has to be the best obviously you can describe something that is not the best but then how much more when god is saying that i also need to the receive best. the best yeah so the best that we give into God, it has to just be the best. Amen. And funny enough, speaking of best, and maybe to make it personal, God gave us Christ Jesus, his only begotten son, so that we not perish, only. so that we find life in only. him. The only son. He was like, you know what? For my children, I, I'm, I'm, I'm letting him go. The only one. How, how do you feel when you give the only thing that you have? That, that, that last cent that you have, you know, this is the only thing that I have left. You are how, left how do you empty. feel? How do you feel? That feeling, yeah. if you feel that way when you're doing it for God, yeah. 
then it makes sense yeah and funny enough when we give wholeheartedly earnestly we find relief we find peace we find a joy that we cannot explain exactly and yep. god gave christ we thought god was suffering god was crying but god was at peace he was he was he was at the most peace because he knew that i i have given my very best my very best and when i'm giving my very best it's for them exactly not to perish amen so if it was for us not to perish he saw the need he did he saw the need so if it is for god to speak to his kids we must see the need to give him them the best, the best. 4k <laughs> it has to be the best only 4k <laughs> up and up and higher and higher and higher and watch out 8k is coming if, if ever you, you you want to hold us to that word be rest assured 8k is coming how god does it we don't know but we trust that, in that, god that, that's what i like about everything that is happening god is spontaneous yeah. when he does his things he doesn't tell you how he's gonna do it exactly it's the matter of having faith revealing in part you see we we just we just sit here and then we get the word and then we are taught you need to have faith yeah. it's by faith it's by there's faith. there's there's a certain episode that we were shooting when we were talking about faith yes, yes. that really set on me and yeah. i was like i understand a lot of things now that we require faith more than any other thing more than any other thing yeah and i think wherever we are wherever we're going it's it's just going to be by faith and you know what i like about this faith aspect it comes with guarantee and assurance because God himself he watches over his word to perform it exactly it's like us going to get this screen or this microphone at the shop if ever it doesn't work we return it we tell them of warranty and guarantee we tell them about our consumer rights what more when it's God but you know what what what's good about it yeah it never expires never or, or get to that space where you will return it and no say, this one is not working <laughs> guys are you listening man ah, so come it, on. It, it never gets to that space <laughs> hey you you like with him everything is just perfect man. and and that's why he said it, when it's when it's the right time i the lord i himself yeah it it, it doesn't need anything from us you don't have to <laughs> see when he's saying i he, he doesn't need you to come in and help him it's personal be, yeah even if when you're crying and you're saying i don't have this but then they said I, I when when the right time is yeah i the lord i myself will make it happen he's gonna do it amen <laughs> isaiah chapter 60 verses 22 this is the next one the smallest will become an army of a thousand and the least will become a powerful nation i am the lord when the time is right i will do it quickly <laughs> it's like you were you were, you were preempting this one. <laughs> <laughs> you see the thing is <laughs> like i was saying that uh, sometimes it's it's just spontaneous yeah we, what what god does is, is god works wonders so man. Before you even say something, before you even think about something or anything, God has already spoken to that person. Like, if the pastor is preaching, yeah. you can sit there and say, Ish, this is exactly what I was telling. You want it ten times, Mr. Ten times yes, better. Yes, yes, yes. Just yes. yesterday. How, how did it come about? Hey. <laughs> and you know what I like? Um, with God, um one day is like a thousand years looking at characters like david he was out there shepherding the sheep and the flock who thought he would be great you never thought of him becoming a king no look at uh, and, and and mind you today we still speak at, uh, about him as god's favorite king as the one that spoke directly to god god yes the one who god understand Look at Joseph. They sold him. They threw him in the pit. They thought, ha useless. We are done with you. God, God had a mission. Look at um, Mary. Yeah. Uh, everybody thought, oh, this one is done with her. She's got a child uh, out of wedlock. Don't, don't, don't. She, she's the mother of Christ. Look at uh, Job. Uh, 
we're bringing it to the world now. Yeah. That guy lost everything. everything. And it's unfortunate. It's, this is a sensitive topic. I think we'll have to touch on it someday. That he lost everything, but what the world would react today is one would think this guy must kill himself. Exactly. He's now linked to suicide. But the man was willing to suffer for God, waiting for God. And um, he became the very least. He was everything. He knew everything. He had everything. But he was the very least for God's sake. And it says that when you become the least for God, when you uh, look down for God's sake, look today. It, 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 that's, why, that's why the Bible says that, that the last shall be the first and the first shall be the last. Amen. It, there's always that, like, God, God always knows. And you must understand also humility. Humility goes with everything that happens around. It does. Everything that you do. It does. If it was not of humility, yeah. we wouldn't be talking about 10 no. times better. And I think many times people get discouraged. Many times people look at progress and when they don't see it, they think nothing is happening. And when they're not getting to the thousand, the 10,000 subscribers, the 100 subscribers, they think nothing is happening. And they, I feel like people think it has to do with them, the results that they will get. They feel like they need to do something. But the scripture here, it says, I am the Lord. When the time is right, I will do it. It's personal. The guarantor of his word. And he says he will do it quickly. I think also the, the, the fact that we fail to understand the, the, the timing of God, it, it always robs us mm. that moment. Because if we understand the time of God, that when He's saying I, I, remember there's a lot of things that we won't obtain because of a lot of things that happens after yeah. when we are trying to get something. True. Remember this worry, mm. remember this anxiety, yes. remember this, all these things that overshadows the love of God mm. they will always come and say and, and you know they really really come and they consume y- you understand and, and, honestly speaking when we look at all these things I'll, yeah. I'll show you what I'm saying this remember when sometimes we'll be shooting these things and we'll be doing all these things and on other days you would call me and I'll tell you my brother I'm, I'm not okay yeah. we, we can't shoot yeah. I'm very sick things are not happening we get issues and, guys and, we get and, attack you must pray for this man <laughs> yes. we, we get a lot of attacks and even sometimes you will realize that we still wake and have sleepless nights yeah. just to make sure that people receive this the but the, the idea is if you are not rooted on believing that God is going to do it at the yeah. right time yeah. you will be discouraged before you go anywhere like Imagine the energy you put into mm. the whole thing. Imagine everything that you want to do, but then now you realize, but these numbers are not even adding up. Exactly. I'm not. I, we're not growing. There's, there's nothing. I'm telling you, you're not. No. And, <laughs> and how many people have quit pursuing their dreams, pursuing the goals and the visions that God has imparted in their hearts because they lacked patience. They wanted to see things happening now. Exactly. And they forgot that the owner of the plans is God. And the most painful thing is that with with something like this is that you work so hard being purified, purified, mm. purified. Mm. As soon as you are almost two stages before you get to the to the to, to the gold part to you saying know, this is now I've, gold. I've got that picture of the man digging and digging and digging. And when the guy in the next pit finds treasure he decided to give up he decides to give up and it's, he was just there and he had plenty more than the other guy exactly that the, the thing is with god you just need it it has to be a relationship between you and god not a relationship between you and the people though you're doing it for the people you're yeah. servicing the people you you're delivering to the people his people yes god will deal with the rest because now if you check we normally give up when we are almost there when it's done when we are done because mind you like you're saying the instant we ask and in prayer and say god we are asking for this spiritually it is done yes and physical manifestation like we just read previously it comes at the right time god's time not our time and he says he will do it quickly but at the very end the people grow weary the people get tired when it's finished 
I think also the devil the devil tricks us to that yeah. because he always puts us in a space where in before you could get your big breakthrough there's always going to be those challenges where in you feel ah who is this god and he doesn't want that breakthrough you understand because when you prosper you help I, I, others I remember the angel that was fighting and yeah. battling and yeah. And, yeah. and 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 to you for sure you thinking uh, my blessing is not there And that time And when he Bible, gets there he says I've been wrestling. Yeah, yeah. Your answer has been there all like, this time. The answer is always there. The day that you pray God knew that you're going to pray and say this and and the he drops the answer the same day. I like the part where you speak about the blessing. Where by the Bible does say blessed be God the father of our Lord like you were saying in the beginning that it's a relationship. Yes. Blessed be him the father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ citing that with God with Christ it's already finished it's already done and ours is just to align ourselves be patient walk the faith walk believe and speak yes guys you better come back again next week cuz wow if, if you think you're enjoying this we enjoying this and we are happy to be here and hey <laughs> and i design our studios last one last one for the day psalm chapter 125 uh, verses 1 it says that those who trust in the lord are like mount zion which cannot be shaken but endures forever as the mountains around jerusalem so the lord surrounds his people both now and forevermore seated here started here trusting in god believing in god we are rest assured and we know of one thing that our trust is in the lord because he is the promise keeper he watches over his word to perform it he says that those who trust him alone like mount zion the issues come the troubles come but one thing i have realized about a mountain is it it never moves the rain falls it on it the fire burns up on it but the mountain still remains there rooted true, true. to sight and show that uh, while you start while you do not undermine days of small beginnings when you do and are obedient to what god does even when the storms and trials of life come you remain rooted and standing you never give up you never deviate you are like that mount zion eh? i think when when we even look at the stage of mount zion it's huge, it's huge. very huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's huge but and, but but the the thing is the good thing about this is that yeah. uh, it says it the scripture says it that <laughs> they will come yes <laughs> it, it, it never lied oh, no, it, it, never. It, it never put you in that place of saying that you it's won't go through to be hunky dory no you will go through but when you go through uh just remember that immediately when you start going through yeah god has already promised that when you are going through there's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 5 that is already in place to say and things are going to work out when you're speaking some now something dawned on me where there's god's vision and where god is executing something there's usually a tech Look at how many times you have been sick of late. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, and uh, it, it's, it's it's like the sickness is just channeled towards now uh, or towards when the day we are going to shoot. That that's the thing. That's that's what I wanted to 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 actually even say that. You, you, you know I've I've come to a realization that when things are supposed to be done. Yeah. That, I think that's when I get attacks. Well, more especially with my health yeah but i've learned that you know some of the things we need to just stand against mm. and fight against them and say the this this, this is not going to happen yes. we're not going to stop because i've realized that the more the attacks the yeah. more victories that god wants and even guys like we're saying even if it's just one person if if one person prospers if one person gets help you see it's enough exactly so yeah the the attacks the attacks will come that's why i was saying that he didn't say they won't come he said they will be there but 
My grace is sufficient. Exactly. Yeah. There's so, plenty. So he has made he has made sure that the grace is sufficient until that day when he says, "My child, come back home." Exactly. But then, if he's not saying that, come back home. We are here to work. <laughs> we still have to work. And funny enough, to show that this is the devil playing trickery, the medical reports come with money. Exactly. There is nothing. Exactly. And it's just a waste of time, a waste of money, and and all that. More especially if you are to pay attention to mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. But now I realize that some things you just need to do them. Yeah. Yeah. You just need to be as stubborn as possible exactly. and, and be and be that and and do what God is saying do. You know, there was a time. Uh, I think one of my friends can attest to this. You know, when you thought you saved some money and this money you're going to use to do this to advance the kingdom of god as a projected church i'm going to be able to say well when they say they need this i'm in a position to just swipe or oh, well, what do they call it <laughs> <laughs> yeah but yo i don't know what happened to that savings account the car needs tires the car needs service this is broken and before you know it everything is this chaos everything is gone yeah. and in all of that i just realized you know what whatever you have whatever your resources are available use that to serve god and see what god, god does do. yes and look we are here today yeah hey, man i mean honestly speaking a lot of resources that we have and a lot of things that we are saying we are using as resources I always tell people that if they come and sit in the studio <laughs> and see what we are using to shoot these things. <laughs> it's the grace of God. A lot of people will be like, hi, ah, you guys are they lying won't to us. us. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, ah, no, man, you can't. There's just no way. I, I remember I once I once shot someone uh, one of our episodes yeah, and I was yeah. like yeah this this thing this thing was shot in a space this space in this and area. they did not believe it yeah, that person argued with me until I had to even take the camera and put it there just to, to prove it to them to say this is where we do this thing so what I'm basically trying to say is that uh, whatever you have use it yeah whatever you have use it God will will give you the recipe it, it's it's just a matter of doing what you can mm. then leaving the rest to God Amen. God will prepare that meal that you think ah this one ah this one is gonna be it's not gonna be eatable yeah, but it makes you... yeah. speaking of meals <laughs> now sometimes you come to studio and, and the team is like hey, you what happened to you <laughs> because obviously there's work in the day Gosh. and there's life there's things that are happening and in all of that, sometimes you are knocked down. I even tell him, I'm like, how did we do? It's like, hey, leave it. I would call my family and I'll be like, hey, guys, I, I don't know what I was teaching. Can you just listen to this message? And sometimes, I've never told you this, but sometimes I'll be like, maybe let's not broadcast this week. Maybe let's not do this. Maybe. <laughs> because physically, I felt like I wasn't doing enough. Yeah. And physically, I, I, I felt like I was tired. But I learned one thing in all of that, that as the scriptures say, those who trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. And it brought me to a state to say that this word that we are teaching here is not my word. Yeah. And whether I feel tired or strong, funny enough, somebody would be on the comment section and they'll be like, this is the best one I've do listened re- to yet. Do you remember to, Do you remember that man when he was saying that I cannot speak? Yeah. God was saying, go. Even if you can't, go. Go. And he gave him the utterance. So, and he spoke. <laughs> so you understand what I'm saying. And we have to be stubborn, guys. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. essentially, like you're saying, when we feel like it, when we don't feel like it, when we think we are depleted and have nothing to offer, we just go. We just go. You just go. Obedience. Just, just obey. Just okay. There's a lot of things that are happening. Uh, uh, there's a lot of things that I know that he does for for the children of God, even outside the mm-hmm. studio. Mm-hmm. The idea is you just go. You just go. whether you have or you don't have, you, you just go. go. And funny enough, it mm-hmm. will make sure it's always enough. 
you see there's there's this thing that I, I, I think this one I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be saying my last few words yes, yes. there's this thing that I always tell people I don't think there's anybody who has ever seen me even around the, mm. the where we stay mm. I don't think there's anybody who has ever seen me and say hey I saw that guy today how he was not himself yeah, yeah. or I, I think he's hungry or I, I never saw his car going out yes, what's up I what's think up, he's yeah. broke you yeah. know nah God. There's one thing that you should know. Yeah. You don't walk around and represent God in a wrong way. Uh-uh. I won't be taking pictures and posting the gauge of a petrol no. to show the day. I don't what know. What is that? But I guys repent. It's right? not like we don't go through those things. We, we, we do go through those stuff, but here's the thing. This is what I'm trying to say. Mm. You see, the more you walk around and you're showing the world how how bad the world is yeah. or how bad things are going trust me the victories that are gonna come you're gonna claim them they're gonna be yours mm. like you're gonna be like yeah i've been suffering for long eh? now it's my and that time they need to see god through you and if you are suffering if if you you haven't lived to a point where in people ask this question to say yeah. how if hey, people have never asked you think we how of those <laughs> And it's funny when we give them answers, they don't believe yeah. us. If, if you live to an extent where in people don't say how, then you have a problem. Exactly. But if people are asking you how, then you must understand that you are, you are on the right path because exactly. God is the one that enables you. Exactly. And now, because God is enabling you, yeah. you don't even have an answer. I don't know. Yes. And so guys, we don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's. I, I think let's just let's just walk the path, guys. Exactly. Let guys. Honestly, honestly speaking, there's nothing that you're gonna achieve if you don't walk the path. Exactly. You need to walk the path. Mm-hmm. Get in. There's no better story storyteller than a person who has walked the path. Exactly. If you walk that path, you will be able to tell somebody that for me to get to the other side, it was because I did this, I did that. Amen. But you can never tell me about doing this and then if you have never walked the path. Amen. Yeah. And the best part is when you walk the path you own the experience mm-hmm. and one thing we've learned about experience is nobody can take it from you and if you are walking the path with god the god kind of way nobody will take that experience from you and when life experiences come when the storms and what not of life come having been beaten down and stood up and be like mount zion and kept on walking you own that experience so keep going don't stop keep at it keep believing keep starting and when you fall down you stand up you brush yourself and we keep moving because the obstacles they come and they usually come where there is substance where there is something where god has plans and purposes the vision will be challenged there will be obstacles so stop uh, what do they call it stop starting and start doing because you keep on saying i will start and start stop that start doing let um, God, because you, you never walk alone, like we keep on saying, who lives and abides in you, walk with you through this journey. Let him give you his wisdom. Because everything we will ever need in this life and the life to come, God has made available for us in our spirits because he loves us. You've been saying we need to give an affirmation. Guys, <laughs> I know you guys have been waiting yeah, for Yeah, people need to affirm. Eh? If there's one thing that I've learned about affirmations, guys, it works. Because yeah. affirmation is like you're saying to yourself, whatever that God is, yeah. it's it's within me. That's within who I am. Me. So yeah. when you are affirming, actually you're saying, I attest to whatever that exactly. the Bible says about my life. Because so that's that's the most important part yes. as well. It's important when we affirm. Um, trust me. Sometimes I don't even pray. Yeah. Sometimes I just affirm. You see, when we are editing and everything, you guys don't understand this thing. <laughs> you see, when I'm sitting and I'm editing these episodes and everything, there are things that I don't get when I'm shooting. But yeah. when I'm editing, that's when I realize, oh, okay. okay. You see, so yeah. <laughs> so the secret, guys, if you've been asking, is affirmation. Yeah. Is becoming one with this word. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing else we are doing. We are yeah. giving him his word. We are repeating his word. Yes. He says that he watches over his word to perform it. And we know you've waited for some time. We're going to do an affirmation of all of the scriptures. I'll do it from my part. And if you feel there's something we've missed, please also walk us through. 
and then that is us wrapping up so please you repeat with us father we are thankful that we do not despise the days of small beginnings we know one thing is for sure that you lord you rejoice when you see the work begin we begin we start in all areas of our lives we say lord where there is fear where there is worry where there is trembling we know that you are there with us we know that father you have good thoughts of us we are thankful that we have hope and a future one in you lord and we are thankful that we started from zero subscribers and we keep on growing we are thankful that father you watch over your word to perform it hence we say father god what looks small continues to grow what is small and insignificant in our lives that which you poured out in our hearts we trust and believe that lord it will continue to grow and to cut apart and it will get to the level that which you lord you want it to be and finally lord we say we trust you with all our hearts we lean not on our own understanding in all our ways we acknowledge you we are obedient we listen to your word and we do your word because father we know that you watch over your word before we go. Thank you, Lord, for we are successful in all areas of our lives. Hence we say, Lord, we reign, we rule, and we dominate. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> we have given uh, the affirmation, guys. Yes. It's it's going back to the word. It's repeating it often. It's being one with the word. That's why we are so busy on our cell phones of late. Yeah. The devil keeps us busy doing nonsense. And I I think I think that's the other part that made me realize that you know if we we are to win many souls, yeah. we will win them over socials. We will win them over our phones. Yes. Because a lot of things are happening. Our lives now are on on our hands. We no longer have the life that we will say, okay, fine, I'm gonna sit and read the newspaper. I'm gonna sit and look at the TV. That life, it's it's of the past. We are in a new era. We're in. If, yes. If I wanna, if I wanna, if I wanna hear the word of God, I need to go on YouTube. Just quickly. I need to be quick. I need so to be quick. I'm searching for that word. I'm, I need. You know, if I want to hear about love, yeah. I need to go right right away and check ways. You see, so available. so I think we're moving with the technology. Should I tell them? <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should, guys. It's coming. <laughs> There's that which is speaking up. It's coming to your phone. Watch it. It's coming on your local phone on your local screen. Yes. Um. <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, with that being said, um, we also have a lot of things that we want to do this year. Yeah. Yeah. Ten times better has been, you know, it has been there. Yeah. We we still have to celebrate ten times better birthday. Yeah. Where we're gonna give out gifts, but we also want to give out merchandise. Yeah. We we have been looking at having ten times better T-shirts, yes. having ten times better hoodies, having ten times mm. better caps. Walking around preaching. You ten see, times there's there's gonna be a scripture at the back. There's gonna be a scripture in front. Yeah. But the, you know, you're wearing a ten times better T-shirt. So uh, we 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 just going to to make sure that you preach wherever you go without Amen. even saying a word. Amen. We just wanna grow grow this thing as big as it has to be. Exactly. There's gonna be ten times better, a lot of ten times better merchandise. Quality, 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 <laughs> quality for God in all areas. Yes. So watch out, it's coming. It is here. It is finished. Happy to have you. Great, great to have you. We are happy that you spent some time with us. We're looking forward to having you again next week. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This is us just touching or giving a nibble of what it's all about, what is happening behind the scenes. But see you next week. Ne? 
must tell others you must share you must like you must share you must subscribe see you next week lord increase you more and more may he prosper you in all your ways may you affirm like the man has said it's all about affirmation yeah repeat the word speak the word god loves you have a blessed week further and bye from studio the lights are even out bye for now <laughs>